just appreciate the Lord. This is the day he has given unto us. If you mean appreciating the Lord, just appreciate better. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, praise team. Gonna get seated. Thank you, all of you. My viewers out there, I welcome you into this Sunday service. May this be a blessing to you. And may you open your hearts for God to feed you. Because he has an interest over your life. And truly he will do that in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I want to talk about the power of meditation. The power of meditation. Let's open our Bibles. I will read from the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse number 8. Joshua, chapter 1, verse number 8. And I read, This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Father, I thank you for your word. May this word get a place into our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. May the fuels receive this word and may this word transform their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, the every point of need in their life by receiving this word is going to address that need. Every area that need hearing is going to bring hearing. Yeah, but there's a need for progress and prosperity gonna bring prosperity where there's a need for peace this world gonna bring peace and I pray that Jehovah God without any remit may this word address all needs of my fuels in the mighty name of Jesus for I dedicate this word as the solution of their problems in the mighty name of Jesus may heaven honor this word and follow this word to accomplish the prophecy of this word even as I continue releasing decrees over the lives of my fuels and this I trust in Jesus mighty name may the Holy Ghost take charge over the service of today in the mighty name of Jesus again someone somebody can say amen, amen. I want to say God is interested with our lives and God has given you life and the Bible says that the gifts the gifts of a Lord are death not solo and if God has given you life, and when I believe that you know, beyond any doubt, that you are existing because God has given life unto you, and he has allowed you to exist. That's the bottom line. That you are living because of God. And God has an interest. And God wants you to live and exist. Not only living, God wants you to live as an achiever. You live life full of joy and victory. That is your God. He want to see, want to see you healthy. He want to see you rejoicing. It is his joy when you rejoice. And when you progress well, the Lord in heaven smiles. And I'm telling you this day that God wants you to get to the other studying that will cause you smile in every situation. Because the Lord uh, at time allows situations that are a little harder and perhaps are not good for you to understand him even more better. When the children of Israel, when they were going to Egypt, they took a very, very short uh, few days travel. But when they were returning back, they took 40 years. And the Bible says that God had chosen that they take a different way so that he tells them to see whether they can trust him. But they failed in the test. They failed miserably. 
The journey was not to take 40 years. But it was a longer journey, just longer, a little. Because God wanted to see whether they would trust him. And in our lives, there's nothing different. At times you find that there are situations that seem to be hard and very difficult. But God wants you to pass through those situations. And once you pass the test in those situations of hard, of bad seasons and hard moments, discouragement when they come unto you, a time you are even hated and rejected, all those are seasons are brought by God. God are intending to see you uh, fight and win battle, intending to see you uh, pass the test so that you be promoted uh, and you be raised to the next level. But unfortunate enough is that many people don't understand that. And the Bible says that the word of God brings understanding. The entrance of the word of God. It comes with understanding. It comes with the light. And that's why Joshua here is being told that meditate the word of God a day and night. Come in, come out. All the seasons, meditate over the word of God. Because there is power in meditation. You can choose to meditate over defeat. Meditate over how people, they are becoming a burden to you. How situations are not even a, a so, a showing any, any, any signs of becoming better. How uh, perhaps even at this time, how lockdown has been extended for another man. I'm telling you, those are not things to think about. If anything, meditate over what God has said. When things pass, you'll be a, a little, uh, a little while bad unto your life. Like it is today during this pandemic. The things are, uh, seems to be hard. When uh, things are hard, it is the very best moment for a believer to see their God starting with them. And may God start with you out there. In your family there. In your marriage there. In your business. Even when you are working out your dream. And may there be God manifesting himself. When things are becoming tough, may you look unto God and start meditating of what he has said about that kind of a situation. Because God has an answer all the time about things that comes unto you and things are coming even to disturb you and things are coming past with a different intention but to harm you and hurt you. I'm telling you the Lord is still there with you. When they come, let them find someone who who can still allow the word of God fight for him. Jesus was tempted. When he was tempted on the mountain, it was not one of his best season of life. Staying for long, uh, that long time without food, 24-7, meditate over my words. There's something important here. The Bible says, Meditate so that you may observe to do according to what is written. So the reason why you meditate, you need to meditate with a purpose. Behind meditation, there are people who seek to know the word of God so that they can put a defense. Others are even doing study of the word of God so that they be accepted when they go to church like politicians. They memorize verses. So when they go to church, they read some scriptures because of their own gain. I am challenging you, but seek to meditate the word of God so that you observe the word of God. You don't meditate over the word of God because you are going to, to preach somewhere. Meditate over the word of God. Not because you'll be given a chance to testify. Not because you are going for an event. Meditate over the word of God because of one thing. You, out of a heart and out of will, you want to observe. Observing means you want to do. You are having behind your mind, behind your heart, and behind all. You want to seek to know the word of God. So that you're going to be a doer of the word of God. And that you bring difference into your life. Can somebody say hallelujah? hallelujah. So the word here uh, is also speak. That for them thou shalt 
your God shall make you prosperous. Prosperous. Do you want to prosper in your career? You want to prosper health wise. You want to prosper in all things you do. Perhaps in your marriage. You want to prosper. Perhaps in your dream. The Lord has said that there is a means for all of us if you want to prosper and progress. The only given here means that you cause you be a man or a woman of success is one thing here. Observing the word of God. To do all according to what is written therein. Can somebody say hallelujah? And so Joshua, by meditating over the word of God, though he took the leadership of a nation that, well, I can say that it was a failed state. It was like it is in America today. You have seen perhaps what is happening in America. Lawlessness. I was saying that if I, 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 I am Trump, I would resign because this is a sign of a failed government. You see, Joshua took the leadership of these people when they were in that kind of crisis. When they had said all things, when Moses was tempted as their leader, and as a result, he did wrong to God. And as a result, he was killed by God himself and buried. You can see the states of the, 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 the society of Israel by that time. They had called Moses' names. They had provoked him to anger. They had rejected him time to time. And Moses was even asked by God, Can I destroy these people? I give you another nation. And Moses is a pastor and said, No, if you're going to destroy them, destroy me as well. So you can see pastoral in Moses. But the same people led Moses to death. The sky of a state is where is what Joshua took. But because of meditation of the word of God. Not that people change into becoming good people. No. In the Bible you can find a time when Joshua said, Today choose whom you are going to serve. Whether God's of, of idols or whatever choice you choose. But as for me and my family, you can read from that statement. You are able to make judgment and see that we are still difficult people. But Joshua stood. He just agreed that since God is there, God who called me, God who gave me assignment, and this God is the same God who gave you that husband, he gave you that wife, he gave you those children, he gave you that career, he gave you that business, he that has given you that body you walk with every day, though perhaps might be paining a little. The same God who created you, he is the same God who can change and make your life more better. He knows what to do to heal your body, what to do to deliver your family, what to do to deliver your marriage and anything thing that has been a problem not to your life. Just allow him by meditating over what he has said. That is meditating his word day and night. Can somebody say hallelujah? Meditation is what I lack. Many people read but they fail in meditation. Meditation is about a thinking in continuity. Just thinking. Having a mind within you. That pray over and over. Over and over. Having a very serious. Uh, contemplation. About thing. That you are thinking. Over and over. Reflecting that over and over. What are you. Reflecting in your mind. What has occupied. What is that occupied a better part of your mind. Anything that is really meditated over you will dictate what you will do in your life. If you allow evil mind to keep medit be meditated over your life, you find yourself doing what's evil. 
May God help you to start meditating victory. Meditate the promises of God. Meditate the word of God that he has spoken about good people like you. Because we as Christians, we are chosen of God. And therefore we should meditate what God has said about us. Forget about those curses God has say, talked about. Those curses does not belong to believers. They does not belong to Christians. By choosing to be born again, you are delivered from all curses. Because Jesus took the curse you had. And it went with all those curses, with all those failures, with all those disappointments, with all those rejection, with all shame to the cross. And on the cross, he said that it is finished. May you understand that your struggle was finished many years ago. On the eve, you get into the will and the plan of God. Meditating the word of God a day and night, you are able to enjoy a new avenue that the Lord has made for you. Can somebody say hallelujah? This is your God. And this is a true God and a faithful God. So just uh, his key for victory was meditation over the word of God. And our keys for victory in life should not be different. We should know that we are Joshua's generation. Joshua's generation was not concluded. Seek to see is to know who took over the Joshua generation. It may be you if you choose to take over from the Joshua generation because it is still glowing. Joshua generation. May you be among the people so called uh, Joshua generation. May the anointing and grace come over your life. They're going to be able to enjoy as a Joshua generation today. In the mighty name of Jesus. You need to meditate over the word of God. So that you enjoy the very best life God has for you. Because it is there. And please and kindly. Don't let your life be wasted by the devil. Because the Lord has given you the very best. But you can choose to just take what is not life. And Jesus, the word of God said that. See, I put ahead of you life and death. And we are told to choose life and not death. I don't know what you have chosen. What you chose is what you meditate over and over. Can somebody say hallelujah? hallelujah? So you understand when you choose to meditate over something. I know that we may not understand God a hundred percent. But he keep revealing himself unto us as we keep meditating over his word. Because it's all about him. So you get deeper. In meditation about God, how he created you, what he has said about you, what you can do to reach there, what you can do to enjoy the promises. Because we should not be ignorant of devices of the devil. Because one of the main, main onslaught against us is deception. Deception. So he want to keep lying over you. Deception, telling you of things that you start thinking and meditating about them. And then all deceiving you all about this. Because he's a liar from the beginning. You should not allow him to deceive you and to just cause you lose control. You must uh, remain uh, uh, on track about uh, what you have called for and where God has put you. You must just stick there and be immovable, ensuring that uh, you are still studying and you will make it uh, because the Lord has given you life. If it is necessary, and I believe it is. Fight a defensive war. To ensure that what God has given you, no one will touch. Ensure that your good health is given unto you. It will not go out of you. How will it go out to you? It's when you start thinking uh, that there's a disease coming away. And you never overcome this disease uh, and this sickness uh, and meant to kill you. And once you have that kind of a mind, you will surely go and you bury you a good Christian. May this not happen unto you. 
that one of your last ones die. Not even you. You must start firm on the promises of God because they are there. The Bible has said that when the enemy comes uh, uh, one way against you, by his help, they'll be scattered seven ways. It doesn't matter how strong your enemy comes against you. Just keep meditation over what God has said because by doing that, you make, it, you make that words become true. And all words are given for you. Others are weapons uh, to keep you safe. And others are weapons to open doors. There are keys. The Bible says you are given keys. So we must understand that, that in this warfare, if we are not just positioned there to be uh, defeated in in any moment, but we are there to keep testimony of what our God can do. May this happen unto you. Give it a chance to work wonders unto your life, for he is a miracle working God, but he will never work if you do not give him a chance and I shall urge you and charge you today that give God a chance by meditating over the word of God day and night with a mind that I am going to do what I meditate. Somebody say hallelujah. So you understand by meditation. You get more revelation of the word of God. The Bible says that it is new every morning. The word of God. So every morning there's a word for you that is new. Means it's a new a power given unto you to face the warfare of every day. That's why the Bible says that this is a day I have made for you to rejoice and be glad in it. Every day it's meant for you to rejoice and be glad in it. By the time the devil is given a chance to come and deceive you and you find that by deception you start preparing in the way in for him and as a result you know he come to steal he come to kill he come to destroy you find that your joy is stolen you find that your progress is stolen your peace is gone and all those things that God has given you you find they are destroyed you cannot see any shape of the blessings of God over your life no even over your family your marriage why you yourself have opened the door for him and he has come the destroyer May all doors for the destroyer be shut. Who will shut? It's you by meditating over what God has said and keep faith in that and that will be a very powerful force. You find yourself fortified and find that God is working with you to give you victory in every step of life. Say hallelujah. You can always tell of anyone who meditates over the word of God. His ways are glorious. He can even uh, read a scripture and give a revelation and start seeing as if that word is new because of meditation. Because meditation will bring revelation and so the revelation comes with the power. Weapons of our victory includes the revealed word. The reason why Peter was called the lock and was made the lock is because he allowed the Holy Spirit to bring in revelation. May you allow him to bring in revelation. In work, if we have revelations, perhaps in business you get revelation of what to buy and to sell. You get revelation of where to go and what time. You get revelation by people to bring into your life. You get revelation of whom to marry and where to be married. All of those revelations, they are important. And if you don't get his revelation truly, he will deceive you. He will come with his. And you find that if you're not careful, you will believe in his rise only to ruin your life. And you may even end up not making to heaven. May this not happen unto your life. May this be clear that the word of God brings revelation, understanding when you allow the word of God to be meditated over your life. Hallelujah! This slowly and sure develop wisdom within one. Meditating the word of God, even if you are not educated, you find yourself becoming more better than professors. Because it will slowly develop wisdom. The word of God. 
It will slowly develop power that will help you believe on the same. So there's all benefits uh, when it comes to meditation of the word of God. It will develop and create what you don't have. Meditation over the word of God. It will help you know how to overcome lies of the devil. Meditation of the word of God. In the book of Philippians 4, verse number 8, the Bible says that finally, finally, think about what is true, what is honorable, what is pure, what is lovely, what has good repute, what comes with excellence, what will pray, bring praise to the Lord Almighty. On these things, dwell there. Dwell there. So meditate these, those things, not just anything. You don't just meditate things that cannot add far you run to you. You don't meditate how the world is being destroyed through the bad world war. You don't meditate how politics are coming because they will not. You don't meditate how economy is being ruined because you US does not uh, really depended on what comes from this war. You as an ambassador of the world, your help comes from him. So start meditating on what is true, honorable, pure, lovely, with good repute, with excellence, and that can bring praise. Finally, allow me to say finally, the book of Proverbs 23, verse number 7, it says, for as he thinks in his heart, so he is. For he thinks in his heart, so he is. What do you meditate? Whatever you meditate, so you are. You meditate evil things, you become evil. You meditate good things, you can become good. If you meditate over how you are going to rise higher, surely you are heading there. You meditate over all things will become possible because that is what God has said and he is not a liar. You find things becoming possible. If you meditate over your marriage working wonders and making you rejoice all the time, that's what will happen. Meditate over what is good to create your future. By meditating of what is right, you just prepare a platform for your victory. And the Bible is clear that it is the source of your success, and the source of your prosperity. Today, I am challenging you, just go and prosper by this grace of meditating over the word of God. May you prosper when it comes to the works of your heart. May you prosper when it comes to the dream that God has given unto you. And never forget, you are in a war. You must win battle. I release grace over your life. May you win battles. All that comes your way, I declare your victory over those battles, over those challenges. Yes, they are right to come, but you are right is there never moved that you are created to win battles you are created to come and emerge with victory and a testimony they talk about your God because your God is greater than that problem that is facing you just allow the meditation over the word of God let it flow the time and just allow it pray and through your mind over the time time to time about the promises of God about the will of God about the word of God and this will bring uh, a new picture over your life. Uh, through that you start thinking uh, of how great you are. Of how victorious you are. Of how healthy you are. And how far you are going. Uh, may this happen unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. And uh, uh, let us believe and start on our faith. I want to pray for you. God give you grace. God give you grace. God give you grace. You are out there and you are believing. You are in here believing me. That the gracious God will give you grace. 
Once you choose to allow him, uh, he will get in. Uh, you choose to allow his word, uh, it will keep flowing into your life. Uh, you find yourself not again struggling, uh, meditating over the word of God. You'll be able to seek the word of God. You'll be able to seek to know and to seek to do. And God with his power will give you power to will uh, and power to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your head. Everlasting Father, in the gracious, mighty name of Jesus Christ, I start with my fears. I declare your power over their lives. Power to help them manage to know the word of you. Manage to meditate over the word of you a day and night. Jehovah, you're going to usher them into victory they desire. You're going to usher them into success they desire. Into prosperity they desire. God, in all wars of your lives, wars of hell, wars of economy, yes, I declare social warfare. These people will have a never heard because of this grace you're giving. Receive your grace now. Receive the power to do. Receive the power to will. Receive the wisdom. Yes. You will make it. You will be able to have time meditating over the word of God. You will be able to have time to seek to know the word of God. I open wider. I open you for the reason that heaven you're going to supply unto you or what you desire or what you lack or what you need in his will in the mighty name of Jesus. And I destroy every hand of the destroyer over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, you unseen forces against these families, against this life, against their careers, against their economic life. I break and destroy you. And you demons are fighting against your life. I bind you and I blow you away. I declare that they are fortified. The protection from above come the way. Come the way, come the way in the mighty name of Jesus. You have your victory. Don't forget for you to maintain this victory, you must walk right with the God, even as you meditate. Meditate the word, meditate to do, it will give you victory. One of the best ways of doing the word is just in fighting Jesus. And to you alive as the Lord and Savior. And to give you a chance to do so. If you there say after me, Lord Jesus, I have known that I'm a sinner. I've chosen to come to you, forgive me. And write my name in the book of life. It's from today. I receive you and I believe in you. You are my Savior. In Jesus' name. Take care of what's that seed that God has planted unto you. Look for people who have a favor and they are practicing favor. A glow. Read the Bible. Study the book of John. A glow in favor in the word. And you'll be able to meet in heaven the paradise cast for us in the the name of Jesus. Those who would like to get in touch with us, the screen, the list that line for messages and calling. You are most welcome. There's also line uh, for support uh, and adjust uh, through MPS. Uh, you need uh, to meet us uh, personally. I am all the time ready. Anytime you like to meet me. You can just make uh, a call uh, to have a time for you and I'll be able to minister unto you. May God bless you. Thank you for feeling. Uh, I encourage you, encourage you to share and keep sharing. Uh, let many people uh, be reached by this word and be transformed. Uh, may God bless you. Remain safe.